Watching construction around the city is almost like watching an episode of Fear Factor. You cannot look away in fear that something will definitely go wrong. But to make less light of the situation, I felt now would be a good time to mention, educate, and share a piece of history. Something I've always found fascinating and in fact inspiring and keeps me going to share the success stories of our land. So back in the day, during the Siad Butter regime, a time where there was civil unrest between our people, a genocide had broken out. The goal of Siad Butter, the dictator, was to make sure that Hargeisa or the Somali region would stay suppressed and never overshine where Siad Butter believed the capital city should be. The Somalian region, let alone the city of Hargeisa, was not allowed to build a single high rise. If you ever wondered why the city is so flat, that is exactly why. So, seeing as to how now we've got tons of three stories, four stories popping up, it's nice to see how far our nation has come since such traumatic times. So despite it looking like fear factor at every corner you turn on the streets of Hargeisa, at least we have a beautiful, bright new city center skyline coming up in surely just under a few years. <laughs> If you guys like content like this, please please go and and like no and subscribe to the channel. So today we're just driving around and actually Mom and I are just so interested in building process in Somaliland so we thought we'd share with you a couple of the things that hits our eyes when we drive around. There's always this construction going on uh, but there's a few ways that you could save yourself a hassle and we thought we'd just share some tips with you guys. So if you find this helpful, great. If not, just enjoy the scenery of the construction happening all around town. And get can I Okay, that's another episode. So, we keep flipping from construction to garden. Comment below actually which one you guys prefer more and I can bring more content of that for you. But for now, it's just me and my neem tree and I'll show you guys some of the tips around town. You want to say in Somali? Okay, you don't see it in Cuba. I don't know what to do. Now, this is the most crucial part of your build. If you're not standing in the middle of that cess, it's called a cess, um, then this is where things can go wrong. It's literally the layout, the floor plan for your house. So if you're later complaining that your washroom's too small or your kitchen's too big, the hallway's unnecessary, it's because you weren't there at that exact moment and it's impossible to undo after that. Oh my gosh. This wall, more commonly known as a dade, the border perimeter around your house property is the most mandatory, crucial start to your build. You need the privacy. Most importantly, you need to mark off your exact properties of land. There are property wars here, so it's something to look out for. But unbearable price point is actually unavoidable. Can you walk you to the orange Serf Ah, I'm going to the so this like i love this type of roofing and i don't know why well i do know why they don't use it as often it's more expensive am i yeah and we're yeah it lasts a lifetime and you won't it's not as loud when people throw rocks i don't think you'll hear it eh? and the rain the rain gets really loud it's beautiful but So, but what's the biggest price difference this thing? Oh, lahat pa lang. Really? Uh, like will ka, will ki sa iyo ka riyad. Tapos, wakti pa lang butchu. Mesho kang kalakam nirda yo, kadamana yo. Yeah, the chips one is so beautiful. They did a good job here. How? Because be he a duck. Hey? Instead of, then we go, kuk na ayo, kuk na ayo, kuk na they did foundation. Oh, has it some rain? Had no more cold. You melan was coming. Nothing. We'll hit it, but my gully carrier was cause on the corner. 
Okay. They did a good job there. Okay. That's another major tip ah. for things that get that left, left out. Get left out. Huh? Okay. Do the right job at the right time. Huh? So you, you, you better do it at the same time you do in the building. Yes. Even though it doesn't rain often, when it does rain, it's enough to dismantle your whole house. Here's an example of a house that was built beautifully, but they left out the one crucial thing that we're talking about right now. Right there, right around there. A normal house, but now it's popping up stores. Ah, I can, for example, it used to be just regular houses. Everyone knows the Bukhali Kontunga Street, but it's being developed all the way up almost three quarters of the way. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll just give you a couple of tips for interior related things when it comes to building your house in Somaliland. Uh, don't mind me struggling to death with this can of paint because that took longer than painting the whole house. But what we want to point out here is that when you get in your house done, make sure you go for the oily based paint. But even when you get an oily based paint, which costs $70, by the way, 70 US bucks. Anyway, it'll cover your whole house. It's just you have to make sure you thin it out with gasoline and petrol. Petrol will help it dry faster so that your whole you're not waiting two days for your house to dry. And the gasoline will make sure it adds an extra sheen so that your oily your already oily based paint will nice sheen added to it as well as the added feature of being able to wash your walls whenever necessary. <laughs> Oh, and insider tip, only paint half your house since the can does cost 70 US dollars. I repeat, 70 US dollars for a can of paint. So yeah, we went with the economic option of only painting half the walls, which is usually the only parts that ever get dirtied. This has been bothering us forever, forever. It literally turns out like this and you want to be able to wash it right after you have renters. So you got to get the oily base. Look at the shine. Yes. Timothy, the Lebanon Okay. Okay. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Timir doesn't have a dub. Yeah, I'm a little lost. I'm the Timir Madu Bilahain, but. So, is the point of the Mahma? They were useless to begin with, Mia. I think so. Ah. If you're interested in educational topics like this, please, please join us on our Patreon page where we have a community of like-minded individuals coming together, watching different views, exclusive videos of our motherland and our farm journey. And let's most importantly not forget studying about permaculture and how we can make a difference in our dry drought land. Click the link below if you want to see more of the content like this.